up some pretty things. So here we are the next day. Uh, just jumped the M3. We're gonna take the M3 out for a spin, go get some paint. I know I don't have the best lighting in here, but we can show off the downpipe a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good on okay. camera. Very, very nice. It's gonna look so freaking good on the car, I can't wait. I'm gonna hook it up to the turbo here uh, when we get back. I'm gonna throw the turbo blanket on and the valve cover and uh, just see how she looks. But we'll run inside real quick here. Take a look at this bad boy. They, that Hoffman's place up there in Lubbock, Texas, did a phenomenal job on this valve cover. Look at this thing, it is just, Gorgeous. Absolutely positively. I mean, it's super bright. I love it. It looks really, really good. And we're actually about to go to the store right now, pick up some yellow paint to do the transmission. Uh, my goals for the day is to get the cams in, cover on, set the turbo blanket on just for fun, because this is a dark turbo blanket, like I was telling you guys. It's really dark, so this should match the downpipe very nicely i want to get all that mocked up well i want to get this on permanently along with the cams get it sealed up you know all that um that means we can kind of start on timing after that once the balance shaft bearings show up and whatnot but this is a, a very key part and it looks so pretty i'm so glad i did this i'm gonna do more things this color as well the calipers the cage some other things in time but that looks so good i'll put a link to their Facebook and stuff down below for anybody local out here, West Texas, Eastern New Mexico, whatever. This thing's gorgeous. I love it. All right, boys. Just ran in the store. Got us two different colors of yellow that seem pretty similar. Um, I didn't have two cans of either one, so I'll grab one of each. I'll grab the trans, throw it onto the trailer on the side of the house here. I got some uh, wire wheel stuff for the drill and like a Scotch Brite type thing. Uh, clean up some of the oxidation from it on there take off the one mount thing real quick and uh, we'll paint that up while that's drying we'll go ahead we'll clean up the uh, valve cover there's a couple little spots where I don't want paint on the bottom that it kind of sunk over to where the tape didn't get it right um, just to make sure it's totally you know good sealing area get that done then we'll throw the cams in and that oh we got to put all the little we got to put all the rockers in too so Got a handful of things to get done today. Number one thing is to get this trans done while uh, it's nice and sunny. So let's get to it. A little bag of things. And for the caps look identical. One's stupid color, one's rust -oleum. I don't know. We'll see how these turn out on the trans. I know it's not gonna match the can cover at all probably. But with them being so far apart from each other, and you won't really even be able to see the trains anyway. I just, I watch too much Jimmy Oaks and he paints all of his shit before he puts it in, so I feel like I might as well. So I got this thing, and I got these. They're both pretty cheap. We'll see how they work. Why not? Something new. I've never used these before, never cleaned up trains before, never painted trains before, so bear with me. <laughs> I don't know if I can even move this thing by myself. I'm about to try and pick it up. Hopefully I won't break my back. So I gotta take the bracket off of it. Oh boy. I guess she's in the bathroom, so I don't get no help right now. Well, I taped up a couple spots. Um, still want paint getting in there. I'm gonna tape up these three spots once I go over them, because they, they got some nice surface nasty so i'm gonna clean those up and then wrap those clean clean them up real good i don't know i'm wondering what this hole was for oh this is where the i think yeah this is where the uh whatchamacallit goes yeah okay i was wondering why there was a hole there that's where the clutch line goes so there's that yeah is there a plate on here it's a mpf boom where are we at ching I really wish I could see the inside of this thing. <laughs> oh well. All right, ladies and gents, we got the trans out here. Some tools. Let's start uh, just cleaning up some rust here and stuff. 
Um, get it nice and clean. The paint got a nice surface to stick to, I guess. I mean, it's pretty clean already, but it could be a little better, I guess. We'll see. All right, just to reiterate, I am not a professional. I've never painted a transmission before. In fact, I've barely ever painted ever anything before. Um, hopefully it comes out half decent. Taped off a couple of places where I don't want paint to get to. Um, cleaned it up a decent bit. Cleaned it up mo mostly on like these, which you'll see later when I, and this is uh, the stock shifter. I got shop daps coming throw on there eventually but uh see how we do so I got the first layer on I realize you do not want to paint the transfer case so I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up here in a second uh you can see there's definitely a lot of inconsistencies here i didn't even realize i missed this whole spot until like just a second ago oh sorry right there i'm gonna go back over that um sh i should have taped this off that's dumb of me and like the other cap down there i should have did that one too i realized last second i painted over this so uh, i wiped it down and put that on it connector's fine maybe should have did the bolt too i don't know i feel like i could wire wheel this off when i take it out and same with um the stuff up here but so got a couple more layers to go plenty left in the can get this transfer case covered up so got like three layers of paint on the transmission didn't want to bore you guys with literally watching paint dry so that's still outside it's dark out now the girl's still working on the car so i'm waiting until she's done she can help me carry this back in but in the meantime i decided to go over the valve cover a little bit make sure uh there was no paint and paint where, so, where paint wasn't supposed to be uh this was like a little exacto nothing crazy dude did a really good job i love love this color anyway so i decided to go ahead throw the down pipe on and the uh Turbo blanket, just to mock things up, just because I want to see how the black and the contrast. I should have, I should have powder coated the intake housing of the turbo. So I'm definitely gonna do that next winter. But boom, look at that. Let me try to fix the color here. Um, yeah, it looks about how it looks in real life. That is gorgeous. Just look at that. I don't know if this is how the turbo blanket is supposed to go on or not, but I mean, this thing is just looking great. Just look at it. Man, I am so proud to call this my motor. Black and yellow go together. So good. And then I want the calipers are yellow. I want the calipers yellow. I want the, uh, whatchamacallit's yellow on both. Um, black wheels. And we're going to have a matte black hatch, matte black roof um eventually matte black hood and fenders probably or something like that i don't know what i'm gonna do when i order carbon fenders and hood but mm, mm -mm. just look at it that is just gorgeous i like this angle like right right about there that is just good mm, mm -mm. So I learned some things and stuff. Obviously not as bright as the valve cover. Um, tape job could have been a little better around some of these places. This right here, it's the only one I'm upset about really. The, this, I kind of wanted to be, I was hoping it would be more consistent. It wasn't, whatever. Got a little bit of overspray on here. Whatever, that can come right off of the wire wheel here in like two seconds, but it's not too terrible. I didn't get in there as much as I wanted to. I want to get the yellow off of this piece entirely, so I'll probably, scrape that off um yeah i mean jello when it's in the bay you won't be able to notice all the imperfections and stuff but i got to learn and play around a little bit happy with it all right guys back here next day uh i'm just gonna leave the trans the way it is not do any more coats on or anything but i got 
I'm painting uh, the hardware that holds the cam cover down right now. I want it because like the bolts are just ugly. So painted those black to hold the cover down. I got like a whole other handful for all the other ones to go on for like the brackets and stuff. Got to paint those still, but it's time to put these babies in. I've, been, I've had them in oil for like weeks now. I almost forgot to put them in. I was like all ready to slam the cams in. I was like, wait a second. I need to uh, put these things in. So it shows that the, the skinny skinnier ones go on the turbo side and the, the thicker rollers go on that side and if i can get these off i'll show you i'm gonna grab some gloves these are the thinner ones so perfect we'll start with that okay should be not rocket science here it's covered in oil here i don't want to get it all over the damn ceiling surface I'm going to. Oh well. Should just fall right into place and they feel like they kinda like magnet onto the valve. Yeah, I should have emptied these out and let them sit. Alright, you can hit the stick. So now those are in, looking at the book here, pretty much says make sure the engine TDC. I just did the crankshaft here on the side. Um, you see there's like the flat spot there. And then you just stick a screwdriver through the spark plug hole. You see that it's a TDC. So um, it says, shows you here the order of which to tighten the bolts down. And they go to 8 NM plus 90, I think. I have to scroll back up to see, but it's shown you in what position to put the camshafts in I think you go further down it shows you like there's the end of the cams facing up and how to seal it seal and bead thickness two to three got all that stuff down there and then after that you have to rotate the cams a little bit get the lockers in um, I don't have the tool the tool shows up tomorrow so I can rotate the cams so that's gonna I'm gonna be stuck in it. it's a little socket there so I'm going to be stuck there till then, I need to get that tool in so I can rotate the crank a little bit, but we're going to set the cams in and uh, get the cover on. Pretty simple. Alright, next up, really, i got the cams sitting down here now. I just got to inspect them, make sure they're nice and clean, uh, lube them up, and set them in. A little bit of specks of dog hair. And I swear, I could be away from my dog for like four months, like I was in Africa, and still find dog hair in my clothes. It's crazy. <laughs> and you can see the little dots that they were talking about. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I think each lobe has some like dots there. You show up on camera, you can kind of see them. This looks good. A couple specks of fuzz. I don't know which one's which. One of these is way longer. Okay, so that's this side. So I'm gonna loop this up, move up the little journal area, set her in. So, I was trying to get the uh, exhaust cam in, and the exhaust cam is variable. Like it has the, the cam, there's things on the cams that move. And the one was getting kind of caught up on the journal, so I was trying to move it, so I lifted the cam up. It moved, and like a spring and a ball shot out. Well, I moved another one and shot another one out, so I just spent like the last hour and a half searching the garage up and down, and there was already one sitting here, so. And these little springs, these little balls, they go in these holes and they help. I'm, I'm assuming that there's, there's dimples that they press against on this piece that moves to like lock it into place kind of when they go into their whatever position. So I need to figure out how it's like a special tool to do this because this drops down in and you got the ball on top. It's like a tool that holds it while you slide the cam over and this thing is hard to press. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that and hopefully there's only 
only these ones are missing and the rest are where they're supposed to be. I'm assuming there's, the book doesn't say how many there is. So there's three out. I think this one still has one in it, but I need to move the, all these all the way down, I guess. I don't know. Yo, so trying to get through this stuff. Got the cams facing the right direction. The back lobes are facing towards each other. I don't, can you see that on camera? There you go. The back lobes are facing toward each other. Make sure the timing marks are where they're supposed to be. Whoop. Sorry guys, I'm looking at what I'm looking at, not at the camera. Timing mark, timing mark matches uh, what the book says. It says uh, to drop it back from TDC a little. So I put it back, I put the tool on. I had to put the little, uh, whatchamacallit, and I put the tool on. Now I can just turn the motor by hand. Um, now I can clean the cover real quick, put the sealant on, put this baby in. Like I, I cleaned up those bolts, bolts earlier, so I'm gonna be using a nice new hardware. Get her done. Well, boys, here goes nothing. Oh, this one's actually black, huh? Uh, the last, well, yeah. Well, no, it's like reddish. Anyway, about to put some sealant on this cover and drop it on. Uh, hopefully, the last time we're seeing these cams for a long time. Wish me luck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hopefully it's not too much or not enough, but uh, time to slam her on. This will be interesting. I'm nervous. Oh, oh no, yeah, I fucked up. Take two. Took off the uh, water cord or whatever that was there. It was in the way. Now there's two guide pins right in the middle. Um, just use my dang eyes. I'm not having deja vu right now. That's crazy. So it's like press down evenly. That's about as far as I'm gonna get it by hand. Sweet. Yo, next day. Uh, ain't too much to see here. Just waiting on hardware. I had to order more things today. Got new high pressure fuel pump bolts. The two um, end bolts I'm missing there for the cam cover. I don't know if I talked about that or not. I missed the last two. I'm very dumb. And in the book, the removal of this cover and the install of the cover of the torque sequence or untorquing sequence, they're two completely different things. I kind of just went in a circle around the whole thing and like got it down a little bit. It was like half turn at a time. And then uh, and I torqued it down in the sequence of removing it instead of installing it. I don't think it's really gonna make that big of a difference since it was like definitely like brought down, the whole cover was brought down together and then I can tight onto the block and then torqued. Um, yeah, so that's my F up. Uh, I kind of feel dumb, but it's already done, so it is what it is. Uh, what else do I got? That's all I got for this video, I think. Waiting on uh, the other Kirky to show up today and the brackets and what else? The cam tool so I can spin the cam. The uh, balance shaft bearings will be here. Thursday, so that'll get done Thursday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I can start maybe drilling holes in these seats tonight or tomorrow and get those angled right. I need to clean up the engine base some more, paint some more bolts, all types of things. So just be looking out for the next video. You know, we got plenty of content. Still got the hatch to do. Still got, I'm hoping by the end of the week I can have the trans bolted up to this dang motor and thrown in the engine bay. And then uh, I still got to raise the front coils. I'm thinking about cleaning the engine bay and doing the front coils and painting those bolts today until the seats show up. Then I'm going to do a video and unboxing the seats and stuff. 
So much to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Look out for the next one. I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Hit that thumbs up.